Mark Wilson coming to you from the sixth hole at River Forest Country Club in Elmhurst, Illinois with this week's Mark It Down. I think you maybe could see my breath here in the screen. It's cold, it's about 22 degrees, but I am determined to bring you some meaningful content no matter what the temperature, so let's get after it. I'm gonna talk today about a phrase that you've probably heard me say on PGA Tour Live or others on the Golf Channel, and it's strokes gained. Uh, we have a guy named Mark Brody to thank for this way better statistical uh, way of looking at players than the old greens and regulation and fairways hit model. Uh, he wrote a book called Every Shot Counts. Uh, and, and the research he did for that was he got thousands and thousands of amateurs shots that he put together, plus with the PGA Tour shot link data, was able to figure out the average number of strokes it takes for a player to get it in the hole from different distances and different lies. With this, we're able to figure out more how players are excelling and where there's room to improve. You're like, Mark, I don't really care how it's calculated. I just want to watch golf and see Rory McIlroy hit bombs off the tee. Well, hang with me. I'm going to talk about how it's calculated. And at the very end, I got a couple great applications for you. So let's start by me hitting four tee shots, and we're going to figure out my strokes gained off the tee for those shots. All right, now we're at my first tee shot. I bombed it out here, 280 yards, all carries. Matter of fact, I think it backed up a little bit. I know what you're thinking. I got a little bit of roll, but anyways, it's in a good spot, 120 yards to the hole from the fairway. So now let's figure out strokes gained for that tee shot. Uh, you got to start by figuring out where you started from. We, this is a 400 yard hole, and the average for a PJ Tour player for 400 yards off the tee is 3.99. Now that's gonna differ based on hole difficulty and everything where you go, but if you take every single time a PJ Tour player hits it from 400 yards off the tee, you put it all together, that's the average. Subtract the shot that I just hit down to 2.99, and now we gotta figure out what's the average from the new spot. Well, right here, 120 yards from the fairway to the hole, the average for a PGA Tour player is 2.85 strokes. So, of course, most of the time they're hit on the green and two putt. But looking at this number, you see they're gonna make more birdies than bogeys. You subtract those two, you get the .14 strokes gained off the tee for that first tee shot I hit. All right, now we're at our second tee shot here, uh, noted by B on here. I'm just trying to confuse y'all, talk about second tee shot, A, B, all that kind of stuff. Uh, by the way, this is all to scale perfectly, and thanks to my son, Graham, for letting me use his easel for this. Uh, but anyways, we're on to the second tee shot. You see it here uh, in the very dormant rough here in uh, Elmhurst in the middle of December. Not that bad to hit it in the rough as long as you can find it uh, amongst all the leaves. But obviously, it's going to be tougher out of the rough for a PGA Tour player from the same distance. We've got 120 yards still, but now we're in the rough. What's that average from the new spot? Well, 3.08. This time, you subtract those two. Now we've got negative 0.09 strokes gained for that second tee shot that I tugged into the left rough. All right, now we're at that third tee shot. I pushed it a little bit. Uh, still hit it 280 yards. And I'm in the fairway bunker still, 120 yards to the hole. What's the new average from this spot out of sand? 3.21 for a Tour player. You subtract those two, you're losing almost a quarter of a shot on this particular tee shot that wound up in the sand. All right, now I'm at that fourth tee shot. You probably noticed I didn't hit driver on that one. I actually hit three wood, hit it about 250. I'm in the fairway. Now I have further to the hole, 150 yards, but I am in the fairway. What's the new average from that spot? 2.94, you subtract those. We're back to positive 0.05 strokes gained for that three wood I hit off the tee. All right, I gotta show you a fifth shot. I didn't hit it, but it's out here 320 yards into the left rough. Uh, now we're 80 yards to the hole. What's the PJ Tour average from 80 yards? 2.96, you subtract those two, you've got a positive strokes gained. The reason I wanna show you this one is because in my first four examples, the two in the fairway were the only two that were positive. That's not necessarily always the case. Uh, you notice players hitting driver more often. Rory McIlroy comes to mind. It's probably the best club in his bag. Big reason why he was player of the year last year. He averaged positive 1.2 strokes per round on the PGA Tour in route to that fantastic year. Uh, so we all sort of think it through and uh, think about the different risks. Now, if there's a penalty area looming or a deep bunker, well, we're probably gonna lay back or make sure we get over that. But if it's just rough, most guys are gonna see hitting driver. So that's strokes gained off the tee. Let's move now to approaches. All right, let's talk about those wedge shots that I hit. We're gonna do it a little bit differently this time. One, to speed up the process, and two, because the green's covered. That's what we do here in Chicago, so we have some good surfaces come April and May. Uh, we gotta start by figuring out, okay, we were 120 yards, 
from the hole, but we were in the fairway. What's the PGA Tour average there? Well, that's 2.85, which we know from earlier. Subtract that stroke that I just hit that wedge shot. We're down to 1.85. We're going to use this number and subtract all these various new positions. Well, the best one I hit was eight feet from the hole. PGA Tour average there, one and a half strokes. You subtract that, you've got 0.35 strokes gained on that approach. Something you'd see a lot of tour players do from 120 from the fairway. Now, what you wouldn't see very often is a guy missing it short left 20 yards from the hole, but he is in the fairway. Now they average 2.40. You've lost a little over a half a stroke on that one. Now to make it easy, C and D are also 20 yards from the hole, but in different lies. C's in the bunker, 2.53 is the average from there. You're still there at a negative 0.68. Uh, and then the worst one actually is in the rough, uh, almost three quarters of a stroke lost on that shot, which was very uh, interesting, but I knew it all the time. I'd prefer to be in a bunker, especially with a good lie. Most tour players do. We can actually uh, depict what it's going to do. We understand what it's going to do out of the sand a whole lot better than some of these various lies in the rough. Uh, Henrik Stenson did it best in terms of approaches last season on tour. Uh, over a shot gained every round. Uh, JT was just behind him, uh, just under a stroke gain. There's your approaches. Let's go to the putting. Let's talk about strokes gained putting now. Uh, I've got a chart here. Let's go through. Let's start at 60 feet. Uh, the average tour player has 2.21 strokes from there. So don't beat yourself up when you two putt. Be thrilled you're beating the PGA Tour average. Uh, 33 feet is the break even point. Tour players average two strokes from there. And that putt that I just hold was an eight footer. Uh, I picked up a half stroke on the field. Denny McCarthy did it better than anyone on the PGA Tour last year, uh, averaging 0.926 strokes per round. Jordan Spieth was right on his heels in second place. We know how well he rolls his rock. Uh, hope you enjoyed this Strokes Game tutorial. Uh, and if you want to help out your own game, download Mark Brody's app called Golf Metrics. You can input distances you have during a round. And it'll spit out the same kind of data that the PGA Tour players use to help them figure out ways to improve, opportunities to improve. I like to look at it that way instead of a weakness necessarily. Also points out the strengths they might have in their game. But why would I spend all this time doing this for you? Here comes the mark it down. Mark it down. I've now given you a conversation starter. I mean, can you see it? Like you're at your next cocktail party and you're like, hey Bill, how's your fantasy team looking for a PGA Tour? Bill's like, well, if only I knew what that strokes gain thing meant. You can look at Bill and go, well, you're in luck. I can explain it to you. So you're welcome with that. We'll talk next week.